Hey guys, so the video you're about to watch is the full clip of how Mubad's body was exhumed yesterday. You know, of course, the police didn't allow people to come around to make some videos and that was why you didn't see this clip flying up and down. But I have been able to get this clip and please, I beg you, if you know you are this quite emotional person, I beg you not to watch this video. Please, you can as well opt out of watching this right now. I myself have not been able to hold my heart ever since i watched this video yesterday so please guys if you know you are quite emotional please i beg you kindly log off now don't continue to watch this video because honestly this video you're about to watch will get you really emotional especially if you're a fan of mobad if you're truly a fan of mobad there are a lot of things i want to say but before i get down to them just come down and watch this video as his body was exhumed yesterday and please kindly share as well to support us thank you Oh, the power is due. Ok, 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 Omo, um, this video right here is very heartbreaking, especially for the fact that this guy he was indeed a very talented guy, and he cried out while he was going through all this bullying and harassment. Omo, um, uh, joining this Malian music is his worst decision ever in life, and indeed I have learned a lot from his death. 
first of all, we all need to slow down and be patient with life. If you're looking for wealth, somebody else is looking for health. If you're looking for health, somebody else just died. Each time a new mansion is dug, a new grave is dug below the earth. Each time you throw food into the dustbin, someone else is looking for a remnant to eat. Each time you drink water or urinate, remember, someone else is using pipe for the same purpose. So we all have to slow down and take life as it comes oh, because this life no get duplicate like play like play like this you don't clear say Mubad is indeed gone he's gone forever like we will all mourn highest give it two weeks from now everybody will forget everything about Mubad this is so sad honestly so as you have just watched his body has been exhumed and of course the autopsy has been concluded as was reported by the police they said the autopsy has been concluded a lot of people are insinuating a lot of things about his death some people are saying he was quiet by San Larry some people are accusing the wife some are accusing the father a lot of people are pointing fingers even now people are saying that his manager Sheyi knows a lot ab about his death so she too should be brought in for questions so yes fingers are being pointed and then that is why this autopsy is of course required and police said they've concluded the autopsy and the result is not yet out even though he has been taken to the toxicology unit so yes until the result is out then that is when we will know our next step but i want to state this clearly i think the nigerian police by now should have called in naramali and samlari this is not depending on the autopsy i think by now with the evidences of harassment and bullying that is flying up and down all the videos that has filled up the social media space i think by now it is or a wise thing to do and i think it is proper that they be brought in for questioning and of course they should be brought to book because bullying and harassment is uh is is not good is i think is something that is against the human rights that alone could of course lead to his death i know maybe with time now they'll start twisting the whole thing but let's be hopeful and wait that by the time the autopsy comes out the nigerian police will not uh try to twist the whole narrative and try to pin one or two things on some people because from the evidences we are seeing naramali and samlari should be should have been brought in for questioning by now and on the other hand though this one is not related. I want you to see this video of uh, David Doe at the candlelight procession yesterday. You know, a lot of people attended the candlelight procession yesterday, which had in attendance also Fowles, David Doe, and so many celebrities. But man, David Doe is guiding his life like, as in he knows he doesn't have a spare part. He doesn't want to end up like Mobad. I want you all to see this video from the candlelight procession yesterday. And please kindly let us know what you think about this video in the comment section below. Stay beautiful and have a nice day as we continue to seek for justice for Mobad. Thank you.